Welcome to episode three. My name is Philip Frasica and I'm with Renew Missouri. I'm a member of the Rural Power Coalition. We started this project as a 90 minute webinar and we've been transforming it into a six part mini series to let people like you know why rural electric cooperatives are integral in the fight for energy equity and clean energy. We're also gonna be covering how the Rural Power Coalition 100 billion retire and reinvest legislative bill could help rural Americans and how you can join this movement for rural power. The previous episode in this series was about racial equity and policies around racial equity. In this episode, we'll be presenting an introduction to retiring coal plants and why we are focusing specifically on rural electric cooperative coal facilities. A key piece of this is retire and reinvest. So this is what we would like to retire. So when we're looking at fossil fuel dependency from our utilities across the country, nine of the top 15 most carbon intensive utilities in the United States are owned by distribution co-ops. So our groups would really like to fix that and we'd like you to help. So another way to look at this is the generation and transmission and the ownership stake they have in coal. So they have a 60% stake in coal generation and they're also buying a large percentage of their energy from fossil fuels. So two thirds of the power they're buying that they are not generating is coming from a fossil fuel source. So we have over 300 fossil fuel generating facilities from the electric cooperatives that they own and they're totaling over 57,000 megawatts this ties in really nicely with the new administration and what Biden is trying to do, and that there is a goal to have a zero carbon power sector by 2035. So we really got to get after this and retire these and reinvest elsewhere over a very short time period. We hope you enjoyed episode three of the six part series. The key takeaway from this session is that our rural electric cooperatives have an over reliance on coal plants compared to other utilities across the nation. Please stay tuned to social media and check your inboxes because we'll be sending more content your way, along with action opportunities to advance rural power.